welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and we are getting started with the show. In a moment, I'll be taking callers if you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one. On the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. Now, um, just a few things, just a few little things. I want to say hi to everybody on YouTube, and thank you so much for joining me, Sal, Vaughn, Heather. Thank you so much. Anybody else on YouTube, if you want to say hi, I'd love to say hi back. And let's see what else, what else? Um, oh, there's so much, but I... A week from tomorrow, Thursday um, evening, I will be on Talk in the Night with Paranormal Phil. And I will be um, on from 9 until 11 p.m. So you can join us there and ask any questions you want about life, love, career, finances also. Or connect with loved ones, ask about paranormal questions. I'm sure Phil will be happy to answer Lots of questions about weird and uh, paranormally things. <laughs> um, I don't think paranormally is a word, but who cares? We're just going to use it anyway. Okie dokie. I'm going to start today with a clearing. We are going to clear for unconditional love. Ooh, that we all unconditionally love ourselves and our lives. Okay, I am going to go directly to the first caller, and the first caller is 850. 850, how are you today? Hello, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Michelle, calling from Florida. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you I today? talked to you last week, I think. Oh, yep, I think um, so. Well, I can't remember what I asked you last week. <laughs> Was it about... Um, but in, Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Well, anyways, my daughter's pregnant and twins run in her family. Her grandmother and her aunt both had twins. And her dad's a twin, too. And, uh, of course, it's this female that carries a gene, but so she's always got that high chance but her first pregnancy she had twins but one of them didn't make it she had the vanishing twin and then she had two more boys so she's got three boys now so i'm curious is she gonna have twins this pregnancy and is it gonna be a boy or a girl you know what actually we did talk about this on the last show and i said it would i do feel like she is going to have multiple births i do feel like um uh, yeah, we did. We had this full conversation um, on the show about her having multiple births. Is there another question oh, you yeah, have I that now. I can um, help you with? Okay, yeah. My memory is not the greatest. Um, I do that as we're getting older. Um, but I guess I can... Oh, is it okay to ask something else? Mm -hmm. Yep, go right ahead. Um my brother, I, I got a phone call from my brother and, um, I mean, from my mother and she told me my brother tried to take a loan out in her name and I didn't want to believe it. But then my brother sent me a gift in the mail and it's got my mother's name on a piece of mail that he sent me. I was like, oh my gosh. So what do you see going on with that? Um... Well, not anything good, that's for sure. I feel like your mom has to secure her social security number um, and you can call. You can actually make a call to the three bureaus and ask them to secure your social security number because somebody's trying to use it. Um you know, I don't think he's going to stop there. I think he is going to do something else. I think he's in a very desperate space, but he can't tell you why, because the reason that he's in a very desperate space is not um, 
Well, they're using the word legitimate. It's not a legitimate reason. So, for example, if so, I'm not saying this it's is not him. legitimate, I'm not saying this is his reason for not. Sometimes, if people have like a gambling addiction or a drug addiction or some sort of addiction, they end up in a very desperate space, but they can't tell you that's why they ended up in that desperate space. So, I'm going to tell you whatever's going um, on with him. It's not very good. It's it's um, they're using the term rotten to the core, meaning um, whatever's going on with him. Well, first of all, it's been going on for years. And then second of all, it's not going to get better anytime soon. And third, um, he needs you need to your mom and you both need to approach him and say, listen, what, what's really going on here? Why is this going on? And wh how did you get here? Because whatever's going on is not very good at all. It's a very complicated, convoluted situation. And he does need to stop doing what he's doing. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you if he has, if he's gone so far to take a loan out in her name, he's probably done other things already and she needs to check her credit report and you should probably check yours too is what I would just say on that. This probably isn't his first attempt at this. Um, this might just be the first attempt that has failed. Okay, love? Okay. I'm sorry that that's oh, going on so and I... I hope that it does get it is very resolved. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So it's, it, oh, it's okay, honey. Your phone was kind of cutting out on you and I didn't hear it all. Um, it's just very disheartening because I just found my brother a couple of years ago. So it's kind of depressing because I really wanted my brother in my life. He was given up for adoption and now I find out all this, you know. So I know my mom was telling the truth when I got the piece of mail, you know. Yeah, I I know that it, it, you know, there's something going on with your brother um, that is not above board. You're going to have to make a choice. You know, I think that the two, I th I th I'm just going to speak very honestly and, and um, tell you he's a wreck. <laughs> Be honest. Yeah, oh be honest. God. I don't care. Be straightforward. He's kind of you don't need beat to, around the bush. You need to really, really, really um make sure your social security number and her social security number are locked and nobody can take credit out in either of your names. I would strongly, strongly recommend you try to disconnect in some way from this person because I feel like whatever is going on in his life, it's going to cost you and or your mother if it hasn't already. Okay, love? What was that last thing you said? Cost? Cost. Cost you and your mother. Meaning if he hasn't already taken loans out, um, I know he's trying, but he may have taken them out in the past in some way, okay? Okay. It's, sometimes it's easier Thank to you get... So much, and sometimes it's easier to get a credit card and get cash advances than it is an actual loan. So I would check... I would just check both of your credits and just make double check to make sure, okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much, dear. You are so welcome. I wish you both God luck bless. with this. And uh, I hope that um, I'm happy that she found out and that um, I hope you guys get this done and over with very, very quickly. Okay. I'm going to go directly to 352. 352, how can I help you today? Hi, this is Joanna from Florida. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I just have a question. I had a very bad breakup last year, and my ex blocked me on everything, but I keep running into him. He moved very close to me, 
And the last time uh, I ran into him, he came like back around to talk to me, but I'm not, you know, approaching him or talking to him. So I didn't know, is he trying or wanting to communicate with me? No, um, I, I actually hear a no on that. And I'm hearing, um, oh. I, I think he moved to where it was convenient, not to where whatever. Uh, if he was trying yeah. to talk to you, you wouldn't be blocked on everything. Trust me on that. Um, but I do feel like yeah. you should stay very far away from him. If you do see him kind of like okay. turn around and walk away or do whatever you need to do. Sometimes just, people yeah. move. Um, exactly. Yeah, good. Uh, sometimes people move to a place where it's, convenient but it's not intentional yeah so i'm just gonna say stay away stay far far away don't uh don't try to don't try to interact which i'm sure you're not but just um right yeah and it's time to i think i think uh Moving on right now is one of the best th uh, things you could do. Like yeah. having somebody new in your life is what I'm getting. You need to have somebody new in your life. It's time. Okay. Do, do you, are you already, because I feel like, I honestly feel like somebody new is either you've just met somebody new or somebody new is about to come into your life. And this is somebody who you're going to be in a um, in a really solid, strong relationship with somebody who's going to come in and be a very important person in your life. I feel like this is if they're not already in your life, they're coming in. I, I want to say within I. I timeline but within three to four weeks this person's gonna be here wow. now we assume it's we always assume it's a love partner but this could actually be somebody who's coming in who is actually a friend like a um oh wonderful yeah so sometimes um and they might not stay forever they might be someone who just gives you that really good advice and um, guidance yeah. that we need and then moves on and out of our life again or comes in and out. Um, I have a couple people in my life like that that are just the most amazing women in the world that, um, you know, they just seem to call me at just that perfect time or run into me at just right. that perfect time. I do feel like somebody like that is coming in for you. And I do feel like this person is going to help you to move forward from some of the things that have been going on in your life, some of those repetitive cycles. And I even want to go so far as to yeah. say they might even... I want to say introduce you to or help you like almost not send you to the place where you're going to meet the person you're going to be with, but tell you about some place where you meet your next person. I, I this is such a weird, okay. <laughs> this is such a weird message. It's like, <laughs> they're going to, they're going to come in and they're going to give you this piece of information that's going to lead you to the next person, whatever that means when the time comes. Okay, love. Yes. Thank you so much. And bless you. You're so welcome. And bless you too. I cannot wait to hear about this. Um, please do keep in touch and okay. let me know. Okay. I will. I will. I sure will. Thank you. You are so welcome. I am going to go directly to the next caller who is 516. 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, uh, hi Tony. This is Anita from New York. How are you? I'm good. How can I help you today, love? Yeah. Uh, when I called at the beginning of the, year, at, of the year, you had seen a significant person coming into my life in June. Um, any new information on him? Okay. Um, 
you know, I, I keep hearing this song in my head and I don't know if it's associated with you. I feel like it is because I'm trying to focus in on this and I just keep hearing this ridiculous, ridiculous song in my head. So I actually have to go through the words of the song to get to the message associated with it. And the song is Bonnie Tyler, Turn Around. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit something, 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 uh, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I fear I'm not going to come down. Okay, so, um, Brad asked. So basically this song, I am so sorry for everybody listening to me right now. It's okay. Um, basically what I'm getting is uh, there's something Okay, thank you, thank you. Woo, oh, woo, woo. There's something from the past because they keep saying, turn around, turn around, turn around. There's something from the past that's holding up your future. So we're going to um, do a couple of clearings or healings right now. And the first one is um, we have let go of everything from the past we need to let go of in order to move forward. I'm getting a no, so we're going to clear that now. We have let go of what we need to let go of to have a healthy, loving relationship. I'm getting a no, so we're going to clear that now. And if um, if you guys don't know, when I'm clearing all of y'all, I, I feel it like sometimes, and sometimes it's, it's an uncomfortable feeling. So whew, um, what I'm getting is there is something or someone, okay, we have let go of everyone from our past that we need, everything with everyone from our past that we need to, and I get a no, so we're going to clear that. Now, what I'm getting for you is there is something from your past that you have not looked at, and you, if you, if you can look at it before June, this relationship is going to be take off very quickly and not that there won't be any complications because relationships have complications um but there will be it will go uh, much uh, smoother so if in the past you've had the um if you're let however okay thank you however your last relationship whatever complication was the biggest complication in your last relationship you really need to dive deep into that and figure it figure it out figure out why that is there okay figure out what what caused that complication in you not with the other person so if i've always dated people who have cheated there's something about me that draws cheaters to me that needs to be healed in me. If I date people who are abusive, there's something in me that, it, and not that it's my fault, but things are put in front of us that we need to heal so we can move on and have a healthy life and get past what it is. So I'm not saying that I date cheaters because of so, uh, and that's my fault. Somebody who cheats, that's their action, that's their responsibility, but there's something in me that is drawing that to me and 9 times out of 10, it's the fact that I haven't healed a cheating situation yet or I haven't healed an abusive situation yet. So, we have healed what needs to be healed from past relationships. I get a no. Let's clear that up. Let's clear that up. Let's clean it up because we want to be in healthy functional relationships. We want to be in healthy loving situationships or situations or friendships. Now, Whatever people talk about that trigger us, okay, if there's something, a conversation that comes up with your friends or whatever that triggers you, that's probably it. That's probably what you need to uh, really do a deep dive into. I'm going to say come back in two days and listen to this show again for the clearings 
mostly for the clearings so that you can make sure whatever this is from the past is cleared out. Now, the person coming in, I feel like if they don't have dark hair now, at one time they had very, very dark hair. Tall, medium build. Okay. Um, I at one at one time, I can't say this is how they still look, but at one time they were like what I would consider I'm five four. So to me, tall is like five eight. I'm like, whoo, <laughs> you've got four inches on me. You're tall. <laughs> um a a, 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 like I'm on I don't want to say average. I want to say this person is between is 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 tall average built person with dark hair at one time and point there might be a little bit i feel like the person is athletic or works out but is not a like doesn't have that runner's body not a skinny mini person like that medium average built person now average built in okay. the midwest is very very different to average built in california Let's be clear about that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to say is this person for your area has like that average built body. Um, at one point had dark hair. It might be a little bit salt and pepper right now, but I feel like it's still, you can tell they had that dominantly dark hair. I do feel like this person is very kind, a little bit stubborn, but has some wisdom and and uses it. I feel like this person has a lot of very good characteristics, but will not play games and will not be pushed around. They know who they are, what they want and how they want it. And we love that in business. And we should love that in a relationship also. We really should. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person does have those characteristics in a relationship also. They know what they want, how they want it. And they're, they're not going to settle, and none of us should. They are willing to compromise, but they're not willing to be a pushover. So this person is ready for a serious relationship. Don't try to play games. They will walk away. They will absolutely 100% walk away. They know their worth, and they have no problem saying thank you very much. I'm going to find somebody who's more... Um, who is not playing games. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to walk away from a good thing or you should walk on eggshells to make sure you keep this person. It means show up as you are, be very strong in who you are. And uh, also put out there exactly what your intentions are maybe not on the first date, but and where you want to go with things, okay, love? Okay, great. That sounds wonderful. It's the kind of person I'm looking for. Thank you. You are so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I'm going to go to YouTube and take a few, say hi to a few people on um, YouTube. Lolly, hello, Sal, Caroline, um, Patrick. Hey, everybody. How are you? Um, <laughs> thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Lonely, but you're never coming around. Okay, that is beautiful. Thank you for giving me the words to that song, Patrick. Um, Lolly is asking, I have three precious grandbaby girls. Do you see any boys coming in? My sister also had a grand had has had grandchildren. We want to know if any boys are in our future. Um, are they going to have any boy grandbabies? I hear yes right away. I hear yes. I don't know when, but I hear yes. So that's always a good thing. Um, I guess that's a good thing. Yep. Hey, Genevieve, how are you? Um, I'm going to go up a bit. Uh, Heather, don't go back to bed. I know it's nice to do that. Don't do it. Just keep moving until later today, and then and then uh, you'll have a really good night's sleep. 
uh, tonight. Okay, one quick thing. There are a lot of things going on astrologically right now. I'm not an astrologer, and I'm probably going to mix a little bit of this up. I do recommend you look at something for your astrology. We have eclipses going on right now, and eclipses bring out the truth. We also have what they call a planet parade going on right now. And it basically means a lot of planets are moving. And this is what's making everybody super tired right now, exhausted. Our emotions are a little bit more heightened. Um, it's making us feel a little bit more, for some people, on edge. From what I've heard from some astrologers about this planet parade, it doesn't matter what your astrological sign is, but what I've heard is we are about to have some unveilings of truths that um, <clears throat> for our own personal lives and um, for uh, um, in general, in general truths. Uh, one of those in gen in general truths. I was going to do this, but it's it's not a this. It's a truth. Truth. Um, a more in general truth is, for example, I heard. I fact check this yourself. I only heard it from one source, so I don't know how accurate it is because I have not had time to personally fact check it. So, if somebody can fact check this and get back to me on Monday, that would be amazing. I heard last weekend the person in charge of the food administration was arrested. The food and agriculture administration was arrested as um, having something to do with the 18 food manufacturing plants that have been burned down with arson. Um, expect a lot more of that to come out. Now, if that is true, somebody let me know if anybody has any facts on that. I, I only heard one story about that. They typically don't let a lot of those stories hit the news because that's not news. <laughs> But I did hear that and expect a lot more truths like that to come out over the next month to three months. Um, I would also check again your personal sign to see where all these planets are landing and what that means for you personally and how you can expect it to affect you. Okay, having said that, I will be back Monday at noon. I would love to do another 30 minutes. However, I'm booked full today. So I will see you Monday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes. I cannot wait until then. You guys have the most amazing weekend. Thank you.